Well, I'm to Hikomir already since 1988, 1989, so he knows very well. He's been here before me. Yeah, yeah, he's wow. long time, long time. I know him, uh, I know him for 30 years. Uh, but I've never seen him before. Yeah, because he has always having years where he was away. Like mm -hmm. uh, the thick-headed guy, uh, the thick one, it's me, because I know you already so long time. So, of course, I want to be there and follow the whole story up to the end. Oh. Yeah, what can I do? It's, I have no choice because most most of the thing what is in my head I get from both family. So what can I do? You know, it's like yeah. so you learn and suddenly you find out, hey, he tells the history very different than the history book. No, no bedroom. Good. Good one. I did the grab What? What? Yes. What do you mean? They are rock. Yeah, but this is rock, rock from bedrock. Yeah, rock cover key. No, no, that's the yellow stuff. So that is what they pack in between the bedrock and the, the, the stone they put on top. Like everywhere. What do you think if we take all that blood, what do you think throws of that stone? Yeah, it's the better. Yeah, okay. Very nice. No one remembered the name of the guy who was giving advice for the system. It was Boyd. Uh, Boyd. 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 B O Y D. Yeah, Boyd. Boyd. I told you four or five letters. It was Boyd, the rich guy coming. Ah, but that was Boyd. That is Boyd. Yeah. He had, that was the director of the Holland Bank. And when we get problems with uh, before he or he gets some money from, uh, he, we could get money to, from from Simon's Power Bank to continue the operation. But in uh, one year later. The CEO, the other CEO of Sibus Power Bank, the other director, they didn't like that uh, Mr. Anderson has been giving that money, but it's based on the property of New York yeah. to continue the story here on the market, because we run all out of finance the private people. Yeah. So we wanted to support, but we just didn't have the money to do it. Yeah. So he was saying, okay. I can put uh, the Akampesa, uh, we give the paper to the bank and then we can borrow the money from the bank to so come to the opening and continue. And then in the end, when we come to one result, uh, we give the money uh, the, in another way uh, back to the team, so everything is really okay. I just remember one guy with big books and lake and sitting on the back of one fancy car, like really rich. I don't know. What because that, 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 that guy remember. was called Boyd. Okay, okay. That I don't, that I don't remember. Maybe I wasn't here in that time also, because I have also been maybe altogether four years from this. It was maybe the first summer for me to yeah. be inside anyway. And I was with full alcohol. I hear shouting me straight like full blast there and I was always sitting to my pants, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but nice, uh, like everything yeah. come okay, you know, so it's only a question of... Uh, uh, yeah, I made mistake because I went to kitchen where there were girls were, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 I yeah, wanted yeah. to chit chat and make you make me maybe touch a books or something. <laughs> he boys gets freaked out. Boys are boys, don't worry. So very nice, you know, like we don't take any uh, un, uh, any crazy gamble, we yeah, just do quietly our thing. Some, something, some, something maybe he wants. Yeah, but uh, uh, don't, uh, you know, do according to your feeling and everything will be okay. And you are very careful with everything, so that's very nice, so yeah. we don't have to break our balls and put ourselves in impossible situations. Yeah. It's not worth it. You know? so, we want less problems instead of more problems.
Nice win, eh? One day three. I brought to you. Oh, Let nice. me tell you, bro, bro. Nice, nice, thank you. I went for a sweetie. So did Kari stay overnight? He stayed all the morning and he went out. He went home. He's coming by maybe today. Nice. So we see, we are here. Nice. I think Raisanen is on the way to Boo to make some interview about something. Oh, yeah, yeah. He or maybe, I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's about some biography uh, about the year mm -hmm. he is made. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. And also, I guess that to Boo, to Tang. Oh, yeah. Where did I put it? Do you want to borrow? Yeah. I have this. Uh... Sounds like good thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anymore sure what to think about that. Uh, one, one winter, a friend of mine posted on Facebook that you should recycle presents and gifts and shit for Christmas. Yeah. Then I wrote her, I intended to buy my parents a golden shower. Now I have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's evil. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> digging here. At least around the Etestupa, you know? So because if you can find the base of the Etestupa, it's also kind of easier to continue on here. And it's such an easy reach here. Just need something that can carry a lot of heavy stones. The pump is out. Uh, you never finish, you know? <laughs> But uh, my hands can't move anymore. It's actually Aki's job to go down, get some shit out, put it up, take it away. Then when he's away, I'm gonna take some more stuff from underneath the stone away. Which I just did, and I did quite, some, quite much, I would say. And um, it's getting more and more visible what is underneath. And um, I'm not afraid that the stone comes down when we take the wall away. But anyway, we are careful. For, for me, it's resting with this piece there. Yes. And for this sure. and this has been connected once. Yeah, but they're separated by the blast. Yeah. Because you want yeah. this big stone article, so there can be that from the blasting this has been raised, and the ice and the water be doing the rest. Yeah. But basically, this is all city stone, and down here you have this rapa kivi, which we also had everywhere here. And you can see on the side, it's still there, but it was all over this roadway, this Rapagivi style of thing. So I think they put Rapagivi and uh, they, uh, with the clay, they can slide the stone inside because of the weight. It is not 
in the end one heavy job mm -hmm. when you make one rampa which is like like oil yeah and it's you know the some system i don't yeah. know but same, it's, same system. it's not impossible and when they have this one inside they put this other three go in between because they can just slide them in between in front of the door and there was really like only two three centimeter from you have in between yeah. the stone that was closing the entrance yeah, I saw the and this with, the, with this yeah, 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 yeah. and three of them so there was like the same height as this one what is still there the rest of it yeah and for the rest on this side we have not been doing anything it's only coming out when we start uh, when the water is coming up and down in all the years so it slowly starts to empty so i remember after the first three years because it didn't fill up the whole cave it was everything closed till quite in the beginning of here so oh, you okay. could not see nothing from the bottom of this yeah. sundial rock all, all the way nothing so it's only the water what has been coming up and down what has been made in this situation and now yeah and now of course the big job anyway eh, what we did in order to see more yeah <coughs> But it can be very well that this uh, is one part of rock has been breaking also because of the ice and things. But there is still this whole place there. What is keeping anyway? It's leaning on top. So, okay, uh, we can only find out <laughs> because there is the bedrock under the road, kind of, mm -hmm. in many places. So it's, but slowly, slowly, no risk. Yeah. No risk, no fun. Yeah, no risk, no fun, I know, but uh, you know, no brain, no headache. So when the thing is coming and no we are, brain, no, brain. no brain, no headache. But this cannot be bedrock, right? This is not bedrock. No. no, no, because this I know 100%. This was one really big stone that was lying like on the land, but it was going into dirt. So it was really like this one here, uh -huh. really big. So there was really in the way. So up here behind you, there was another one, really big. Uh, we have pic must have picture where we are sitting on top of it. So it was really like one stone, like two meter, two meter fifty uh, wide, uh, three meter like that, uh, three meter like that. So after we can say, hey, look, uh, we want to follow the bedrock. We have to take away this stone. Uh -huh. So it's okay. We make a hole in it and we make one little boom and bump. So he didn't take <coughs> they didn't take all of the material only that what was in the way yeah. to come down and so the rest is left so basically this is all rock what yeah we can only be sure when we take all away but uh, we have also to think to keep the road so again we come back to this when we find out really how this is positioned and it can't be an endless job anymore so if we get the circumstances right in the next year and we can take we we can see after the winter what happens uh, when when the ice and the water has been doing its work uh -huh. maybe it's only the bedrock and this stone holding it up but i have the feeling there must be something more behind here somewhere yeah yeah the reason why that yeah so there is also a reason why there is all this stone what is there like back nicely next to each other in one layer i mean that's really crazy that looks ridiculous here. All the stone is like pop, 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 like you build a house. <coughs> yeah. From just one row, right? Yeah. As far as we know. In that, that corner, over there, there yeah, yeah. where it's but still fixed, yeah. you see that that stone yeah. is lying yeah. on top yeah. of this one. Yeah. All yeah? All it's design. only like minuscule. I wonder what's behind. I know uh, 20 yeah, centimeters, uh, like the first, the behind the first row. The because there we start, you start to see like a flat piece again. And uh, 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 now it's of course the wonder that if this is the bedrock, what is making like one plateau under on the back side, where this whole stone is lying, then there is no problem. But to 
to get this away, <coughs> that is going to be quite a job still. But it is not an endless job. Because, so maybe we should let the, uh, the water and the ice in the coming winter do the main job, do one part. And we can, uh, we could continue uh, when there is a little bit uh, fun also for to do uh, something. So we have to see how it goes. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. All right. I don't know how big though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's the same layer. Ah, uh, all right. I just think maybe here a little bit to not to crash this, but. But I already filmed it, so it's more stuff. Yeah. We continue here, and you do from that side put yeah. out more yeah, yeah, of the yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> come on. Same shit, half clay. Mm -hmm. I don't want. I get already problem. Not today, mm -hmm. but tomorrow when he find out. You just spread it everywhere and put some sand on top. Yeah, that's that. That's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. With deeper levels, it's all, all clay, I think, everywhere. Hmm? With the deeper levels, it's all clay. But you can see half the clay. Anywhere I've been touching, it's half the clay, only clay. Now that's what you mean, it's clay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first meter. Same on the rock. Yeah. Same size. Yeah. Clay, pebbles, pebbles, uh, stone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very clever made. Eh? Mm -hmm. Very clever made that you have the because on the clay, like down with the rubber yeah. you can you can glide it when you have thick enough layer of clay and you put like wood and Any, stone. Anything it will go but, like. But don't you think this level le le this level of clay is anywhere around? No. 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 no, 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 no. Not everywhere. No. Uh -huh. no, no. Only where the sea has been. But maybe the sea hasn't been so high yeah, up. Really huge place, which collect all the water, yeah. so all the small particles in the yeah. time. But of course, also people can have been getting clay and putting it here in order to move this stone. Yeah, somebody must keep an eye on it. Yeah, look. We have to. We have to look all the time. Yeah, yeah, what we did, uh, it was actually quite a surprise because first we think Eric is not coming and, uh, you know, he was like the good engine for continuing the story on this mountain. So in the last uh, four years we have been doing quite many things all together. Yeah? Eric and you have been uh, concentrating on making, uh, documenting the story and uh, continuing the operation on the mountain to clean up the place to make it look beautiful on the outside and our biggest problem problem of course was the material what is under the sundial rock uh, because that is the one under that material is the one stain shiva that is still blocking the entrance and of course in order not to make the job uh, to look completely dangerous uh, we have to little bit uh, take out by hand all this material from under the stone. So 
we find the system with the water that it works that we can dissolve the clay and the stone come out and we can slowly slowly come to that point where the bedrock is holding up the big stone and when we are there sure that mean, then it means that we can take out all the material from this this uh, entrance area that is clogging up the stone so we get rid of the beton and the big stone underneath and all the loose stones that are still there so that we get like a nice natural composition but uh, to this year we started that and there seems to be good energy for it much material has been coming out and we are not really yet 100 percent there where we have to be but i think that we made good progress and that we can continue next year when there is like general energy to spend some more time and and do the job no let's uh, yeah and then uh, when we have made the outside beautiful i think the time is, has come for to continue in the inside especially now when this last four or five years we also get uh, the book together uh, which give an introduction to boxada so all in all i feel quite satisfied on how the things have been going in the last years and i'm surprised that we get this far so we hope for the best in the next year then. So all in all, not so bad for the moment. Chagabomba will continue. Full blast, full power. <laughs> Ciao Pakistan. Ciao Pakistan for the moment. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come tonight, girl. Oh, oh.